And here we are. What up, y'all? This is your boy, the Dread Man. I am back, and I'm back with my homeboy, Flipside, with the NFL podcast. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me play a little bit of intro music. Yes, <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. What's going on, Flip? <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? Yeah, guess who's back? We back, baby. And yeah, man, so good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shout out to my boy, um, our third, uh, our third wingman, uh, Wazatov. He couldn't make it tonight because he has some things going on. Also, shout out to him for becoming a father in the past couple of months. You know, shout out to him. He'll be on next week for the week one recap and for the week two predictions. Um, but yeah, Flip, uh, how you been feeling, brother? I've been feeling good, man. I was happy in the NFL season today. It's been struggling, man. Yeah, man. I feel you on that. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and uh, get this show on the road. I, don't, I guess I don't really want to keep you guys, you know, who are in the chat and stuff too long. I'll be uploading this on Facebook. I mean, I'll be uploading this on um on my YouTube page soon, too. But all right. Um, Let's go on ahead and get this show on the road. Let's start off with the good old AFC North first. Um, the Pittsburgh Steelers, what do you have their record set at this year? You know what, man? I got high hopes for you guys. Uh, I set the bar high. I'm going with 14-2 uh, and two for you guys. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, I had a look at our schedule, and last year, because uh, I, cause we did the same last year, Last year, I had the Steelers record at thirteen and three. I think I, it was either twelve and four, or thirteen and three. I think it was twelve and four, and I think that I'm going to say the same thing this year. I think the Steelers record is going to be twelve and four. I mean, because the Steelers, we have the gift and the curse of playing down to our competition. You know, we always lose to opponents that we shouldn't really lose to. But I mean, that's neither here nor there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give the Steelers record twelve and four this year, just to play it safe. All right, next. The oh. ball- all right, next the uh, the Baltimore Ravens. Who you got? What's going on, Anthony Johnson? What's up? But yeah, Baltimore Ravens. Uh, Baltimore Ravens. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I got them at seven and nine. I think they they'll make some noise. Like you said, they might steal a win from the, the Steelers. Yeah. But I just wanted to play it safe. I'll give them seven and nine. I got the Steelers taking the division anyway. So yeah. Yeah. Me, I'm going to be just a little bit more generous than that, even though the Ravens are our division rival. I've seen – the thing is, we, I've been watching the rivalry so long, I know exactly what they can do. But Joe Flacco, he's not going to be in the – he's not going to be with them too much longer. I give him – this probably be Joe Flacco's last year as a Raven. Hell, maybe even in the NFL. And they got RG3 and that new guy for a second and third string quarterback, so we'll go ahead and just see how that works out. The Ravens, they're known for their tough defense, but it's like, well – can they really? I mean, they still got Torrey Smith, and they have an okay running game. But I guess it depends on who they face. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and be generous this year and give them an eight and eight record. But we'll see. All right, next up, the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah. What you got their record as? I I just gave them two and fourteen. Wow. Um, wow. I I mean, they have a team. I just don't think it's there just yet. Um. I'm not. I'm not true. Uh, no faith in Baker Mayfield. No faith in Baker Mayfield. Yeah, I got to see Baker Mayfield in action first. I think he might have a, a fluky first season and then actually kind of show up. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna say one more year of Hugh Jackson, maybe one to two win range. Yeah, I can dig that. Uh, me once again. I'm just gonna be just a tad bit more generous than you because. They can somehow steal a game from a team that that you know sleeps on them, or team. They the thing is, they can beat teams who are better than them. But then again, that's only if the teams you know they sleep on them or they underprepare. But then again, you can't really use that as an excuse. You know, the better team. They say the, they say they always say made the better team win, but sometimes that's not really the case. Because sometimes it's the case of the worst team winning and the better team losing. If if that makes sense, it makes sense to me. But yeah, but just to wrap it up for the Browns, I've looked at their schedule and. Mm, I'm gonna go ahead and say four and twelve for the Browns. Four wins, twelve losses. They're not going anywhere. All right, all right, all right. Last for the AFC North, the Cincinnati Bengals. Who you got? Um, how you? What you got their record looking like? 
Oh man, I, I don't, you know what? I gave the the Bengals what you gave the Browns. I gave them four and twelve. Uh, mm. I, I this is this is like that that fed up year. I feel like uh, you know everyone's just gonna fall apart and pieces are just gonna start leaving for better teams. So uh, this is their four and twelve year. Uh, mm. I, I just can't see them winning against that that schedule they have. Yeah, but me, I'm a, once again, I'm going to give them a little bit more credit because I've seen their schedule. I think that the Steelers are personally going to sweep them this year. And just a side note right quick, have you seen the Steelers' wide receiving core? Their, see, their, their wide receiving core oh, this year man. is going to be monstrous. The Steelers, right. they, they got a knack for picking top-notch wide receivers. And they're, they, like I said, they're, they, can, they can make some noise. Shoot, I mean, they got A.B. as number two. Juju Smith-Schuster got bumped up to number two when he traded off Martavis Bryant. And side note, poor Martavis Bryant because, you know, he didn't even last the whole preseason. He's getting suspended again. <laughs> That's a damn shame. I thought that him and Jordy Nelson were going to make some noise at, on the um, on the Raiders this year, but it eh, doesn't look like that's going to happen. But, hey, as a Steelers fan, this is wishful thinking. We'd be glad to have Martavis Bryant back as a reliable number two, but the way our receiver court looks, it doesn't look like we're even really going to need him. Come on, look at uh, James. Future at number two is an upgrade. Yeah, James Wash. Look at me, James Washington. He's dangerous. Uh, number eighty three. He was very. He impressed the hell out of me in preseason. But yeah. Uh, anyway, just back to the Bengals, right quick. Um, Bengals, another team that's tough for their defense. I mean, that's known for their tough defense. Um, I think that they're gonna win. Some, I'm gonna go ahead and I think I think they're gonna win like six out of their eight home games. Five or six out of the eight home games, they might steal a road game from like one of the weaker teams or something like that. But like I said, the way you say, the, like I mean, we both have had a look at their schedule, but the way it's looking, they're not going to go over five hundred this year. So I'm going to go ahead and give the Bengals seven and nine. Yeah, like I said, they they'll do decent. They they're not going to go over five hundred. They ain't going nowhere this year. All right, next up, AFC South. Um, Jacksonville Jaguars. What you got their record as? Oh man, uh, I gotta go on eleven and five. Mm. I think they're still uh, a great team. Um, I think Bortles holds them back, but even without you know, or even with Bortles holding them back, I still think they can they can make some noise in that division. Yeah. So last year was no fluke. I don't think it was a fluke, no. Mm. Okay. Um, I mean, can it be a fluke with Blake Bortles? <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, and no. I mean, because Blake Bortles is bipolar as hell. I mean, one day he's you know lighting it up and torching people, and then the second you know it depends. I mean, Blake Bortles is known to pull a Blake Bortles. I mean, if that makes sense. Um, that defense is gonna carry the hell out of him. No, I'll give him that. But you know, Jalen Ramsey, I hope he can back up all the smack talking that he's been talking all season and all preseason. You know. If not, I mean, their their schedule this year is tougher than it was last year. So we're, we're going to go ahead. We're going to see about that. We're going to see if Jalen Ramsey can back up the smack talking. And the Houston Texans, they're healthy again. We're going to see what they can do. We'll get to them in a second. But I'm going to go ahead and give the uh, the Jaguars, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and give them 10-6. I can see that. I, I, I think I know where you're, you're going that I'm not going on that one. Yeah. Because, like I said, you've seen the schedule, haven't you? Yeah, I've seen So you know where that extra loss is going to come from, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, Texans. Um, me, this year, I have a lot of faith in the Texans. I got. I probably have more faith in the Texans than I should. I was going to give them the division this year, but I don't mean with the way that the Titans look and with, the, with um, Andrew Luck coming back this year, hopefully he hasn't lost a step. We'll see about that. Um, I was originally going to, you know, take a chance and pick the Texans to win this division. But me, I'm going to go ahead and give the Texans 9-7 and seven this year. What about you? Oh, man, okay. Looking at their schedule, um, look, man, I don't have a lot of faith in, in who they're facing. Or I have a lot of faith in them and who they're facing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that. So, I think... Uh, I think they could go thirteen and three this season. Wow, they could. But okay, what what all right? What is your what is most likely? And all right, what is what do you, what do you hope to see? And what do you expect to see? 
What do I hope to see? I hope to see them. Uh, okay. Okay, the cat says that I hope to see them blow through the Colts. I think the Colts, uh, they'll, they'll destroy the Colts this season. I think Andrew Luck's uh, going to have a, a bad season, mm-hmm. or at least a decent season, and I think they'll trade wins with the Titans. Mm-hmm. Uh, but every, like the NFC East, I don't, I'm not seeing them being scared of the or NFC East besides like the Eagles. I, I really don't see the NFC East as a threat, and I think they can blow through them. So I, I got them up there, like maybe like 12, 13 wins. Because mm. if JJ Watt can stay healthy, that defense is crazy. And yeah. then Deshaun Watson is coming out now. Yeah, I know. Whew. Like, yeah, man, I, I, I can see 13 wins. Man, I, yeah, I can see 13 wins. Uh, man, like, I originally had them at. 11 and 5 this year. But like I said, like I said, you he was like, man, you probably got more faith in them than you should. This is what yeah, I hope to see. Too. All right, this is what I hope to see. What I hope to see is 10 and 6. What I expect to see is 9 and 7. Those division uh, no, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I can you, see that. I can see that. Yeah, I'm, I can see. I'm telling you. Those divisional games are no joke, especially in the AFC South. Yeah, I can I can definitely see that. Hmm. All right, there, there's 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 a middle. Like I said, I, I, I was exp- I'm expecting ten and six, but I mean I, I'm hoping ten and six. But I'm expecting nine and seven. So this, this, there's a good middle ground. I'm gonna go ahead and say nine and seven for them. Um, all right, the um the Tennessee Titans. Um, how are they looking this year to you? Oh man, um, I I I don't have much faith in Derrick Henry. Um, Mary I don't know, man. It feels like they don't want to use him the way he needs to be used. Yeah. Um, their receiving core is kind of garbage right now. But hey, they did get they did good enough to get the playoffs last year. Somehow. <laughs> Some way. Um But I think that was uh, I think that was in part because of the Colts and because uh the Texans kinda of fell off. Um mm. You might be right about uh, that. I am going like eight and nine, so probably seven and nine. But I'll give them eight and nine. Hmm. I am gonna go ahead and give the Titans nine and seven. I've got them tying with the Texans. Um, if you ask me who I think is gonna get second it's place, eight nine, eight and eight. About that. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. But yeah, um, but shoot, I have. The Texans and Titans tying with nine and seven this year, but I'm probably gonna have the Texans like over them by like maybe half a game. I think that they're gonna win their one division. I don't think it's gonna be a sweep. I think they're gonna get that one divisional game over them. But um, yeah, I mean the Titans. I don't know what the hell. It, I mean, I don't know if it's coaching or what. Cause uh, Dick is Dick. Do they still got Dick LeBeau? Um, I think they got rid of him. Oh yeah, they did. They yeah, they did. It might be a, an actual blessing in disguise, to be honest. Mm, yeah. Probably so, because Dick Bowe's starting to get up there in age, and that whole that defense that he was running with the Pittsburgh Steelers is starting to become outdated, as much as I hate to say it. But um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give the Titans nine and seven this year. Um, all right, the Indianapolis Colts. Now the Colts was a team that I had I used to have a lot of faith in, but with the way they, I mean, the thing is they've always been known for having a high powered offense, but a very very suspect defense. More more specifically, their secondary. Um. Luck coming back, I mean, we're going to see if he's lost a step because, come on, he was injured in 2016, and then he set all of 27 out, 17 out, despite him being healthy and ready to go. Because well, the first time, it was the concussion protocol. Second time, it was the torn shoulder. You know, you know, he tore his rotator cuff in his shoulder. And we're going to see, yeah. yeah. Um, Jacoby Brissett did the best he could to hold the fort down. He even looked, he looked okay in some games. But it, it, it's, not enough, it's not enough for him to, it's not enough to carry the team. Like I said, that that um, Colts defense is gonna get, get, end up getting torched a lot, <laughs> and I do mean a lot. Yeah. So I think that the only thing that's gonna save them is the fact they have a decent quarterback. But me, I'm gonna go ahead and give the Colts seven and nine this year. What do you What do you think? I'm actually giving them seven and nine too. Uh, I I mean, it's T.Y. Hilton and Andrew Luck. I know they have history, but I think Luck's gonna be a little rusty. Um, 
bottom creases there, but then they, their back feels kind of weak too. Uh, Marlon Max, I think Marlon Max can be something, but they're just not going to let him be what yeah. he needs to be. Uh, mm-hmm. That O line needs help, and that defense, I don't know, guys. I don't think Andrew Luck is Aaron Rodgers. I don't think he can yeah, he's no Aaron Rodgers, it's clear. But I think he can win some games. Uh, I think he'll start off a bit rusty and then kind of stick up into it. I think that's why they'll get seven wins. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I got him seven eight wins. All right, moving on to the AFC East. Um, the New England Patriots. <laughs> um... A lot of people are arguing whether or not Tom Brady lost a step or not. I mean, but come on. As long as they got Bill Belichick, we already know what the situation with them is. Um, the defense, you know, a lot of people say that their defense is suspect or their defense might not, you know, their defense show up when they want to. But it doesn't matter because they got more than enough offensive firepower, enough coaching. But they, 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 got Matt, they, got, they got rid of Matt Patricia too, didn't they? I think so, yeah. Yeah, they got rid of Matt Patricia. We, the thing is, we're going to see how that really – we're going to see how that works out because – that man was one of the gears, you know, in the engine for the, um, the New England Patriots. So, we're going to see. I am going to go ahead and give them 12-4 and four this year. What about you? Looking at the schedule, I kind of want to give them, like, 13-3. and three. Mm-hmm. But you might be right about 12-4. Uh, I'll just say 13-3 and three just to be... Uh, to be different, <laughs> we'll just say 13 3, yeah. mm. That's what probably what the majority is. And I've watched uh, NFL Network's analyst predictions. Um, I think the worst record I've seen them get predicted was was like 11 and 5. And even if they are 11 and 5, come on, they're in the AFC East. That's more than enough to take first place. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. That's like like the, the best record I've seen from predicted for the Patriots this year is 14 and 2. The worst was 11 and 5. But still, like I said, Regardless, that's more. If they're over five hundred in the AFC East, that's more than enough. All right, uh, get, and I gotta know before we keep going. I gotta know it's one of those four losses to the Steelers. Hell yeah, <laughs> no hesitation, <laughs> straight out the gate. We gotta get payback for last year because that catch rule is not gonna save them. I'm I'm telling you that catch rule, what saved them last year, is not gonna save them this time. I'm telling you, watch. I can see it, yeah. Yeah, but all right, anyway. The New York Jets. Um, what do you got their record as this year? Uh, um, two and fourteen. Ooh. I think it's gonna be another bad year for the Jets. Right? Hmm. Um, I've seen their schedule, and it's no different than last year as far as difficulty. I had the Jets four and twelve last year, but this year, believe it or not, even though they're not going nowhere. I'm gonna give them five and eleven this year. Really? Yeah, really. I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna go ahead and give them five and eleven. Okay. All right. Um, because the Bills, I see them tying with the Bills. I see them tying with the Dolphins. They might still win against. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's see. They might still win against one of their lesser rivals. They might steal one of those games. But uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give them five and eleven this year. Maybe I'm being maybe I'm being a little bit generous, but still, I mean, five and eleven—they still not going anywhere. All right. <laughs> Let's yeah. just say you feel way more generous than I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um. Next up, we got the Miami Dolphins. Now, the Dolphins are one of those teams that can surprise the hell out of you, depending on who they face. But they just don't have enough in the tank to beat mid-tier and top-tier teams. They might still win. They might still they might they might, you know, pull an upset like every once in a while. But still, it's a sixteen game season. You're gonna need to pull more upsets than down you know than um than you know you letting your team down. So me, I'm gonna give the Dolphins I wanna say six and ten, but I'm gonna go ahead and give them seven and nine. What about you? Wow. <laughs> well, man, um no Jarvis Landry, uh, no Indomitian Sue, uh, Tannehill's back. I mean, I, I guess that's an upgrade for Cutler. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I got them going like 3-13. I can't Lord. I can't see anything good on that team besides really like their whole line and Kenny and Drake. Wow. Well, I can't carry that team for seven wins. <laughs> I got to put them down into the three-win range. 
Like I said, I was being generous, but like a four and twelve, three and thirteen record would not surprise me. But still, all right. Uh, next up, we got the Buffalo Bills. Um, now the Bills last year, injuries and all, they looked a little bit decent. They 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 looked decent, and in their losses, there you, you did you notice last year that when they lost, the losses were not terrible. They didn't get blown out by like 15, 25 points, nothing like that. When they lost, it was always within like a, a, a 7 to 14 point loss. 7, 10, 14 points. They always lost by that much in most of their games. But still, I mean, yeah, you, yeah, you got to be clutch. You got I me. Mean, you know, it doesn't matter how I mean if you lose by one point or 100, you got to win those games. Me, I'm going to go ahead and give the Bills 6 and 10 this year. What about you? Oh, hell no. <laughs> No, I, I feel like they just downgraded that quarterback. Uh, Shady is he's getting up there in age, man. He's he's got an injury he's working with right now. Uh, I mean, they have a decent defense now. Uh, I, I mean, they could win some snow games maybe, but oh, yeah. I, I just wanted to play it safe and say three and thirteen. Oh wow! Just for the Dolphins. I mean, Tyrod, come on, man. They, they, Tyrod was the one saving that team. Yeah, and we we that 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 was made apparent when they benched him to punish him. Yeah, yeah. Gave him Peterman, and they just traded uh, AJ McCarron away. They only have Josh Allen and uh, Peterman now, so I don't know, man. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me either. Like I said, me, I'm being real, real generous with some of my picks, but I mean, hell, I mean, like I said, it, it remains to be seen. If I'm wrong, prove me wrong. But still, I <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Next up, we got the AFC West. The Denver Broncos, what do you have their record as this year? Oh, man. Um, I'm being a horrible person by giving them this 2-14 and 14 record. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. The Broncos have not had a bad record. They haven't had a record that bad ever in, in, in NFL history. Their record has never been that bad. I, I know. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's, I'm looking at their team, and there's just like their defense is solid, but I, I definitely think they'll prove me wrong with that one. I think they'll probably get like five wins, but mm. uh, I'm just saying two and fourteen. Wow. Uh, me, I, I mean, gotta me. Dis, despite the fact that they have still have not gotten their quarterback situation together, they still got enough weapons on offense to work with, and their defense, especially the secondary, is above average. Me, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little bit more generous than you. And the only the thing is, I know why you're saying that because your boys are in the same division, coincidentally. But me, oh, you don't even want to hear my record. <laughs> I can't wait. No, I can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to hear what you, what you got that record as. All right, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and give the Broncos eight and eight this year. Okay, I can see that. Now, the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, would you care to start this one? <laughs> I got the, the Chiefs at uh, eight and eight this year. Mm-hmm. Um, I think uh, Green Hunt wasn't a fluke. I think he'll have a solid season. Um, I think uh, is Eric Berry still there? Yeah, I think he, he is. retired, right? Hold on, wait. Or I think I think I think so. I got I got to double check. But yeah, if they've got him, that's great. If not, then oh well. Yeah, because somebody asked me now if Eric Berry still there. I'm not yeah. entirely sure. And because on the offensive side of the ball last year, Tyreek Hill, he showed out. Kareem Hunt, he showed out. J- uh, Travis Kelsey, he damn sure showed out. Um, Now, the thing is, do you trust a new quarterback? Do you have any faith in him? I, I, yeah, that's why I'm giving Nate. Nate. I don't trust Patrick Mahomes just yet. Yeah. I, I know he's got an arm on him. I think uh, him and Tyreek Hill are going to be crazy together once they get some more chemistry. Yeah. Um. I, I, Marcus Peters is good, but he kind of showed that he he can be frustrated in the game. I think uh, coaches are going to take advantage of that. Mm. Um, yeah, I think eight and eight is a, a good position for him this year. All right, me like I said, with all the weapons and stuff that I mentioned, I am going to go ahead and give the Chiefs. Ten and six this year. I've actually got them taking. I've got them slightly taking the West, and you're gonna see why when you, when I give my Raiders and my Chargers season predictions. But yeah, I'm going to oh, give man. the Chiefs ten and six this year. 
now for the uh, for the uh, Los Angeles Raiders. Um, who do you got? Uh, the yeah. Las Vegas Raiders. Yeah, Las Vegas. Yeah, the Las Vegas Raiders. Excuse me. But yeah, what do you have them as this year? What do, what's their record? Damn. Um, this was before Khalil Mack uh, got traded. Oh yeah, oh, I forgot man. about that. He's he's a Chicago Bear now. Of all teams, why, we'll, we'll get to them. We'll get to them in a little bit. But yeah. Low key, I could give the Chiefs two wins. I think they could give <laughs> the Raiders. But I'm just gonna say the Raiders go nine and seven. This is before Khalil Mack, so I'm not going to change it, but before uh, Khalil Mack got traded, I had him at 9-7. and seven. I'd probably drop to 8-8 eight and eight, yeah. uh, without mm-hmm. Khalil Mack, but maybe lower, because that defense was like Khalil Mack. Yeah. The, I mean, they lost the Khalil Mack, but they got Jordy Nelson on offense. They lost a the defensive piece to get an offensive piece. Jordy Nelson, Khalil Mack? Yeah, oh, man. I feel like Khalil Mack was that entire defense. I'm going to have to redo this whole thing, man. That, yeah. that trade is crazy. But, um, yeah, I got my 9 and 7. Pretty Khalil Mack. Yeah, same here. I've actually got him the exact same record. I got the rate of 9 and 7 this year. Derek Carr needs to show up. He really does. It makes no sense. If he, yeah. If John Gruden's praise of him is uh, not a fluke, I think they could actually go nine and seven. Yeah, like I said, I mean, with I mean, as good as you know, as the coaching is and stuff like that. I mean, as good as the coaching is, and as good as you know, as as as, as many weapons as he's got, it don't make no sense for them to be nine and seven. It don't make no sense. It don't make no sense for them to be below eight and eight this year. But we'll, like I said, we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and give the Raiders nine and seven just to be on the safe side. Now, the Chargers. What do you have their record as this year? All right, man. <laughs> Biasness aside. Um, Biasness aside, uh, probably 12 and 4. Okay. But with bias, looking at their schedule, I think they could go 14 and 2. Oh. Now, why I say this, I'm saying because I think we'll sweep our division. Mm. I, I don't see anybody facing us because our offense is really solid. Our O-line is good. Um, our defense is on par with the Broncos, I would say. Um, the only thing is healthy. We have to stay healthy. If we can stay healthy, 14-2 and two is a possibility. But I doubt we're staying healthy. Because we already lost our tight end. <laughs> we have to get Antonio Giggins back. Mm-hmm. And uh, we lost our, our cornerback again. Nathan Red. But, I mean, we were solid without him last year, so... And we got a kicker. We actually have a kicker now. So yeah. we might win some games. Uh, but yeah, uh, realistic, I would say 11 and 5, 12 and 4. But my dream is 14 and 2. All right. Me <clears throat> with the Chargers, I got a love hate relationship with the Chargers. But me, <clears throat> I, I flip flopped on my pick with them. I kept flip flopping between ten and six and nine and seven with the Chargers because, okay. yeah, I, I kept flip. I I didn't know which one to pick. Um, those get those games against the Chiefs and the Raiders. Those are gonna be important games. The Chargers have got to win those. I mean, they can't. All right, let's see. They have to. I mean, they have to sweep all their home games. They're gonna have to win all their home games, of course. Um. All right. We don't have home games. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right about that. <laughs> yeah, every game is a road game for us. Yeah, uh, can't even go there. I'm saying, but still, I mean, but still, you you get you get where I'm coming from. They gotta win all their home games, and they gotta steal at least. They gotta steal at least one away game. They gotta steal at least one or two away games. That's why this year I'm gonna go ahead and give the, I'm gonna go ahead and give the Chargers nine and seven. I want to say ten to six, right. but I'm gonna go ahead and say nine and seven. All right. Um. So before we move on to the NFC, I've got the Steelers taking the North. I've got the Jags taking the South. The Pats taking the East, and I've got the Chiefs taking the West. And my two wild cards are the Chargers and the Texans. All right. I got Steelers taking the North. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chargers taking the West. Mm-hmm. 
Patriots are East, right? Patriots are East. Yeah, okay. So Patriots are East and uh, AFC South. I got the Texans. Um, wild cards are going to be Oakland and Jacksonville. All right. I can, I can definitely see that. All right, next. NFC Conference. Let's start with the NFC North first. The Green Bay Packers. The the, the bad the return of the bad man, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> um, what do you got the Packers record at this year? I got them going thirteen and three. Hmm. Um, okay. I think. I mean, I I don't bet against Aaron Rodgers. That's my my one thing. So yeah. I just. Aaron Rodgers is healthy. I think the, the Packers are a Super Bowl contender. Yeah. Um, they have two really solid running backs um, in the backfield right now. I think when Aaron Jones gets back, they're going to have three uh, super solid running backs in the backfield. Um, I think the Quincy Adams and Randall Cobb are going to miss a beat with uh, Jordy Nelson going. Um, and Jimmy Graham there is just Oh, I think yeah. he, he can come back to his Saints form. Because, you know, Aaron Rodgers is a, a tight end. Mm-hmm. He, he loves using tight ends. So, oh, uh, yeah. I think he'll utilize Jimmy Graham really well. Um, their only downfall might be their defense. But I think uh, I think Aaron Rodgers can, can win games without their defense. Mm-hmm. The man is just too good, man. I don't bet against Aaron Rodgers. If you look up the word clutch in the dictionary, you'll see a picture of Aaron Rodgers right next to it. I'm going to go ahead and say that. But, I mean, yeah. Um, I, 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 all right, just, just, um, with, all right, with no disrespect to the Minnesota Vikings, and I think they're going to have it above 500 records this year, but we'll get to that. No disrespect to the Vikings, but I think that the Packers are going to take the North this year. And I have to, I have them slightly under your record. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Packers at eleven to five this year. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, this. Oh yeah. By the way, this is subject to change because of trades, injuries, suspensions, etc. So yeah, take for everybody watching, take our predictions with a grain of salt because this it could it could change like Thanos snapping his fingers. Oh, hundred percent mine. <laughs> yeah. Mine are bloated. Yeah. All right, next, uh, the Detroit Lions. Uh, what do you got them at? Detroit, um, I got them going, I would say, 8-8 eight and eight this season. Ooh. Um, I like their team. I, every year I like their team, but they always end up letting me down. Yeah. And I feel like this year's going to be no different. Um, mm-hmm. Their running game is looking sketchy. Uh, the passing game looks the same as last year. I think uh, Kenny Galladay is going to be nice this year. I think they'll probably include him. Um, their defense is all right still. Um, they always have those games where they make like a comeback and still win. So yeah, yeah, I'll be eight, 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 yeah. Yeah, and those games, uh, those games against the Packers, are, those games against the Packers are always a dog fight. It doesn't matter. That, that never oh, fails. Yeah, they always have a dog fight with the Packers, win or lose. Um, and I have to share your prediction. I actually had the Lions at eight and eight myself this year. Okay. They keep. Um, I mean, I think Matt, Matt Patricia. He's with the Lions now, isn't he? Um, I can check real quick. Sorry. I think he. I think so. If not, then he. All right, but regardless. Um, like I said, the Lions. I don't know what the heck is up with them because they just. I mean, they blow it in a lot of games. And the, and the and the reason why they blow it a lot is just because of the defense. Their defense really just does not have enough in the tank, especially to beat you know top ten, top five teams in the NFL. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give the Lions eight and eight. They'll be right at five hundred, but they they're not really going anywhere. And if they do, it's because a whole bunch of other teams under them are gonna have to take or teams above and under them are gonna have to take a nosedive. Other teams are gonna have to do bad for them to make the playoffs. Um, the Chicago Bears. What do you got their record as? Um, okay, Matt Patricia is with the Lions, um, but uh, Chicago, uh, I mean, he's with the four team. Uh, mm. Trubisky, I mean, he showed us that he's just a check down back or quarterback, yeah. Um, yeah. I like Tariq Cohen and Jordan Howard. Um, yeah, that, that's, a, like that's, Jordan that's a nice one-two punch. 
And I just want to go to Howard getting 30 carries a game and then expect people to, to do something with them. I mean, Trubisky is your quarterback, and he's probably oh, yeah, throwing in 10 yards. Um, they got Trey Burton. I think he's going to be nice for that team. Uh, their defense is always solid. Um, I, I say 2 and 14, but they could easily sneak up to like 4 or 5 wins, no problem. Um, mm. But I'm just going to play it safe, say 2 and 14. I think the, the teams have figured out Trubisky in their, their game plan. If they haven't switched it up, this is going to be disastrous. Mm. All right. Uh, me? Despite the fact that I don't have the Bears going anywhere either, they're a, they're a shell of who they are in the past 10 years. Ever since Brian Erlacher retired, they've gone nowhere but down. And uh, when they had Rex Grossman and stuff like that too, they've gone nowhere but down ever since those two guys left. Um, Bears have always been known for their defense. Their defense is above, is, is anywhere from average to slightly above average. Then again, they stole a game against the Steelers last year. But of course, the NFL is all about what have you done for me lately. And we haven't seen what they can do yet with their new squad. Uh, but me, I'm going to be a little bit more generous than you, and I'm going to give the Bears 6 and 10 this year. Okay. All right, last for the NFC North. The, probably one of the dark horses in the entire NFL, a team that everybody sleeps on and doesn't give enough credit to, the Minnesota Vikings. What do you have their record as this year? Man, they're not my dark horse. I got them at 12 and 4. <laughs> Damn. I think uh, Kirk Cousins is a huge upgrade from uh, the Case Keenum. Uh, Diggs is going to love Kirk Cousins. Um, Steven is going to love Kirk Cousins. Uh, they're getting Dalvin Cook back. They lost him early last season. I yeah. think he's going to pull out this year. Uh, their defense is still uh, a scary top one defense. Um, they, they're underrated for some reason. People are sleeping on them, and I, I don't know why. Mm. Me? Um, like I said, they're a team to me that does not get enough credit. I don't have them win their division, but I do have them probably as maybe maybe, maybe they will sneak in. The, the, the thing is, I got I got the Vikings at ten and six this year. They'll probably end up making a wild card, but we'll see how the rest of these other teams act, especially in the ever dangerous NFC South. And that's what we're going to next. The NFC South. I mean, like I said we got the Panthers, the Bucks, the Saints, and the Falcons. Whew! The NFC South is one of the more dangerous divisions in the entire NFL. We're going to go ahead and start with the Panthers first. What do you got that record as? Oh, man, this is a tough one. Um, okay, um, I got the Panthers probably going to four. Probably a reach. They're probably going to be like 10 and 6, which is more realistic. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's really going to be a race in that division. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be a high win race, probably. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I got to do, I'll say 12 and 4, but realistic, uh, 10 and 6. Yeah. Um, I have the Panthers at the exact same record of 10 and 6 because I think they're going to get it together from last year, especially if they can stay healthy. Because, if I mean, I mean to, you know, to Ron Rivera, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. What he's been doing is working for has been working for them. Sure, they might have a few missteps every now and then, but still, they got a working formula. And Cam, Cam is Superman, of course. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and get the Panthers uh, 10-6 this year for their record. All right, now, the um, Tampa Bay Bucks. what do you got their record as? Shoot, do they even have a record? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, I, I gave them 2-14, but that might be generous. Uh, they, they're not going to have Jameis for four games. Uh, even if he comes back, I don't really see them doing much noise. Uh, their running game is looking horrible. Mm-hmm. Their defense is looking decent, but it's not, like, great. Uh, Deshaun Jackson is just a ghost. I don't know where he's supposed to be. Yeah. Um, and Mike Evans, I feel like Mike Evans' career is just, like, dying in that <laughs> place. Like he should be so much better than he is. Um, so, yeah, I just got him at 2 and 14. Mm. Me, I'm going to give them just a little bit more credit than that. And I'm going to put their record at, I was going to say 4 and 12. But believe it or not, I'm going to actually go ahead and give the Bucks 6 and 10. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, like I said, because they, they, they might steal a 
a game or two, but like I said, I wasn't gonna put him at four and twelve originally. Like I said, they they, they might steal a game, and you know, guys in the the, 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 the NFC NFC South is a dangerous division. Those guys always beat each other up, and who knows? They might the, somebody in the South like the Falcons or the Saints might come off a tough game and they might barely win, and then they might go up against the Bucks because the Bucks just got you know the Saints might have gotten beat up, the Saints, Panthers, or Falcons might have just beat each other up, and then the the Bucks are just coming to pick the bones. So that that actually probably could happen where they might steal a divisional game or two, but I don't really have that much faith in their overall record this year, which is why I got them at six and ten. Okay. Um, the New Orleans Saints. You you might you and a lot of people might be pissed at what I got their record as this year, especially because of how they lost last year. Um, what do you got their record as this year? Um, I got them around. I'm gonna say eleven and five. Ooh. I, I think they're they're gonna miss Mark Ingram for those four games. Uh Kamara's a good running back regardless. I think he's really good as a change of pace back though. So, um it, it's gonna be interesting to see him do this, uh, a third down back uh role. So uh and and Breeze is getting up there, man. I don't know, this might be the year he, he finally uh falls off. Yeah. Uh Michael Thomas is still a, a top tier receiver, so I can't doubt him. Uh, their defense still is kind of fluky. Uh, Eleven to five might even be a little high, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, but I would say Eleven and five. Mm, you gave them. You gave them more credit than me, and a lot of people kind of chewed me up with this because I said I said I'm gonna either gonna put the Saints at eight and eight or nine and seven. Yeah, I could see nine and seven. Realistically, probably nine and seven. That's that's what I have their record. I mean, because come on, they got the Falcons and the Panthers in their division. Come on now. Yeah, I think they could still uh, a win from the Falcons and maybe the Panthers too. Mm, I mean, it it's, it's, it it is very possible. And you know, like Aaron, even though Drew Brees starting to get up there in age, that's another guy just like Aaron Rodgers who you really don't want to bet against either. I'm gonna go ahead and say nine and seven on the Saints just to be on the safe side. Now, the Atlanta Falcons. Would you care to start? Would you, would you care to take this one first? I'm going right ahead. Um, oh man, I got him. I don't know, man. I don't trust Matt Ryan. Uh, really? I don't know, man. Uh, I might have to give the uh, the Falcons that nine and seven that you were talking about. Wow. But. I think ten and six is realistic because yeah. I, I think it's going to be like a three way race. Uh, I think they'll they'll be neck and neck till like the very end of the season. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I'll go with like a ten and six for the Falcons. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. I got I that's the exact same record that I got the Falcons at ten and six. It's going to be a two way tie between the Panthers and the Falcons, and it's all going to depend. But it's all going to depend on that conference, the overall conference record, because. I've got the Panthers and the Falcons both splitting their their games against each other. I got the Falcon, I got the Panthers winning the game at home. Then I got the Falcons winning the game at home. It's all depends who's going to have the better conference record between the two. They're going to tie their division, yeah. but it's going to be the conference record. So I got the Falcons at ten and six, also just like the Panthers. Next up, the NFC East. Me, I'm gonna go ahead and say this before I start this off. I'm, I, I mean, in the past two, three years. I've been disappointed in the NFC East. I really have because a lot of their teams got the potential to be top tier teams, but they just don't do it. I mean, but hey, but at the same time, the Eagles, man, they came out on top and beat the Patriots. So that's really the only team in the last four years from the NFC East that's actually shown me something. And they got it together. I mean, the thing is, they did it with a backup quarterback. And they said that they don't know if they are going to start Carson Wentz. Week one, he's definitely playing, of course. But they say they don't know if they're going to start him. They, they, they said they might start Nick Foles just to be safe. And if they are, they, if they are, I'm not mad at him. Um, but I got the Philadelphia Eagles this year at twelve and four. What about you? I got them at twelve and four too, man. Wow. Um, I, I I see Alshon's missing a couple games. I mean, to be honest, Alshon was like a no show for a lot of. It feels like he was a no-show for about, like, three quarters of the game half the time. Um, 
they still got Aguilar. I feel like he could easily be that wide receiver one on the team. Hurts is still solid. Uh, yeah. The running game with the Jai, you know, it's still solid. I think they'll miss Blunt. Um, 12 and 4 is, yeah, yeah, 12 and 4 is good because I think their defense is going to carry them uh, yeah. most of the time. Their defense is nasty, so, yeah, I could definitely see 12 and 4. Uh, now we got the uh, the New York Giants. What do you got their record at? I got them at nine and seven this year. What about you? <laughs> I got them at nine and seven too, man. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah. I, I I don't know. I haven't seen Saquon Barkley uh do anything yet. I know he's gonna be. I think he's gonna be on Zeke's level, but I just don't think he has the whole one that Zeke had. Mm-hmm. Um. So I think that's going to hurt them. Uh, Odell is Odell. He's good for 100 yards a game. if He's healthy. Um, Eli, I don't trust Eli ever. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not going to say I don't trust Eli ever. I'm going to go ahead and say he pulls games out of his ass sometimes. The he wins does. he gets, he pulls those wins out of his ass. Yeah, he does, but I, I'm, I'm going to say I don't trust Eli. <laughs> yeah, he's, I mean, the thing is, he's known to choke. A couple of times. He's known to choke, too. It's Saquon Hurts. I was reading this chat and reading the comments. Uh, I don't think Saquon Barkley is injured. Well, th- I think he is going to start because they sat him out uh, the last two weeks of the preseason. I think he'll be good to go uh, Game first game of the season. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. I think they're just resting. All right, next. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Um, what do you got that record as? Uh, I wanted to be brutal with the Cowboys, to be honest. Uh, but I'm going to be generous and give them 8 <laughs> You want to know something funny? That's 3 for 3 that we've had the exact same oh, pick. Oh, man. Yeah, I've had the, I got them at 8 and 8. I got the Cowboys at 8 and 8 this year, too. So, yeah. Um, let's see. They lost Dez. They've got, you know, Zeke back. You know, he's going to be starting out of the gate. Um, Dak, now, Dak already got his sophomore slump out of the way because... He he went off his rookie year and then he just took a dump. He took a nose dive last year. I don't know if that was because he lost Zeke or it was because you know him and Dez weren't getting along. But regardless, I'm gonna go ahead and give the um, the Cowboys eight and eight this year. Yeah, um, I think the loss of Dez is gonna hurt them too. I'm saying it might hurt the team, but it might help Dak if that makes sense. I don't think it'll help Dak. I feel like. Uh... He doesn't have a receiver he can really rely on in a team besides Cole Beasley, to be honest. Yeah. And Jason Witten. Jason, I think this is his last year. I think he retired. He right? did? I'm pretty sure Jason Witten retired. Hmm, it wouldn't surprise me if he retired, but shoot. I mean, that's one. If, if, if he's not playing, you know, that's one less weapon that the Cowboys got, which is why I got them at 8 and 8. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Especially without Witten. Yeah. Now. The Washington Redskins. Um, I don't believe I'm, like they they, they 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 they're not showing me anything. They're not giving me anything that makes me believe that they would have a decent record this year. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give the Redskins five and eleven this year. What about you? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, five and eleven. Um. <laughs> Oh man! Yo, our NFC East predictions are identical. That's crazy. Okay, I gave them five and eleven. I was gonna give them six and ten, but I was like five and eleven is a good. Um, just because I don't know what they have for receivers. Uh, Dox or was it Josh Doxson? Yeah. And I think they got rid of uh the Terrell Pryor dude. Yeah, they did. But he was a flop anyway. Yeah, big mistake. Um, mm-hmm. But I gave them five wins because they have Adrian Peterson. They're starting. And I, like Adrian Peterson, is just, he's too good to <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get really. to the five points, I think. Um, but, I mean, they they might show out, to be honest. They might be a team we're underrating this year, and mm-hmm. they could, like, sneak up and get, like, maybe seven, eight wins. Yeah. But, but still. I'm being safe yeah. and giving them five, yeah. Still, I don't think they're going anywhere, though, which is why I gave them five and 11. Um. Last but not least, you got the NFC West. Um, the San Francisco 49ers, what do you got their record as? Oh, man. Uh, I may have been too generous with this. Um, I'm giving them 10-6. Really? 
Yeah, I, I, I trust in Jimmy D. <laughs> Jimmy nice was. Um, all right, uh, me, I, I'm probably underrating them here. And once again, if I'm wrong, prove me wrong. But I got the I got the forty nine and a seven and nine this year. Uh, I mean, after the McKinnon injury, they, that might actually be the truth. But come on, they got the Seahawks and the Rams in the division, and we'll get to them in a second. Are we really giving the Seahawks a lot of credit this year, though? Yes, yes. And my and the thing—it's funny, funny you say that. It's funny you say that because my friend Jeff Ham on Facebook says that you know you have too much faith in the Seahawks. You're giving them too much credit with a ten and six. I, I got the Seahawks at ten and six, um, but I'll go in. I'll go more into why this year. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah, I got the Seahawks. I got the I got the Forty Nine as a seven and nine, and I got the Seahawks at ten and six. I might be having a little bit too much faith in them, but thing is, I mean. They if they if they get it together on defense like they have in their 2013-24 season, but they ain't got Richard Sherman no more. The the 49ers got Richard Sherman. And I don't know if he's gonna Or do Chancellor. His, yeah, or Cam Chancellor. So the L O B is pretty much disbanded. Uh, we'll see if their offense can carry them. We really will see because if it's one thing that the Seahawks know how to do is pick up good running backs. Hey, Chris Carson's uh, really solid. I like Chris Carson. Yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna give the 49 or 79. I'm gonna give the Seahawks 10 and 6. What about you? I got to swap that around. I'm giving uh, the 49ers 10 and 6, and the Seahawks 79. Wow. Uh, I like Chris Carson. I like Russell Wilson. I like Doug Baldwin. Their whole line is atrocious. I, yeah. I don't know what they're going to do with that old line. Yeah, they're because the they got time. they got they got Russell Wilson running for his damn life on every play. Exactly. And and now they don't have Sherman and Chancellor to, to back them up. Uh, I mean, they got Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas is good, but mm-hmm. when you lose Richard Sherman, like people, like people plan for Richard Sherman. Yeah. People plan for Cam Chancellor. So when they don't have to plan for these guys anymore, and you got like Jeremy Lane back there <laughs> playing quarterback. Like, no, nah, man, I, I'm not scared of your defense anymore. Exactly. So yeah, I gotta give them like seven and nine. I was gonna give them six and eleven, but. Yeah, the Legion of Boom is the Legion of Doom now. <laughs> well, Doom. <laughs> yeah. Next, the ever dangerous L.A. Rams. What do you got they record as this year, brother? Okay, now I'm saying this, and I'm being dead serious. Uh, they're going fourteen two. Mmm. Mmm. I I don't care if. I mean, Jared Goff showed us he can be a, a very, a, a Tom really uh, a monster. Yeah, he he can be a solid quarterback. Jared Goff will be a solid quarterback. Todd Gurley is a monster. Uh, Cooper Cup shows that he can be a solid wide receiver three, wide receiver two. Um, they got Brandon Cooks. Um, I don't know what they're doing with old boy uh, Taylor Austin, but I mean, he's still there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, Sean McVay, uh, no, Sean Wood, McVay, McVay made, he's got a working formula. Sean McVay knows what the hell he's doing. And then we get to the defense. I yeah, mean, I know. The defense on, is nasty. Man. Sam Darnold, I mean. Come on, man. They yeah. got uh, Sue and Aaron Donald. Yeah, yeah, Aaron Donald. I think they got, wait, they got a, a key to lead too, right? Yeah, they got a key to lead on the sec- in the secondary now. That's and crazy. I think they got another corner, right? Yeah, I, th- I believe so. I mean, I mean, who's stopping them? I'm, I'm scared of them. I, I'm like, nah. If there was this battle for LA, they won. It's over. Yeah, really. <laughs> now, I have the Rams winning the West this year, but I couldn't decide whether to put them at twelve and four or eleven and five. I flip flop between those two because, well, they're probably gonna sweep the Niners. The Dan's are gonna sweep the uh, Cardinals, and they're gonna battle. With the Seahawks, but the I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, the thing is, do you see them clean? Do you see the Rams clean sweeping the NFC West, like literally just running through everybody in the NFC Absolutely. West? Absolutely. Who is stopping Aaron Jones on that that Seahawks O line? Yeah, it's not like Aaron yeah. Donald is on fat slouch. This dude is fast. Yeah. Like Russell Wilson is gonna be dead. Yeah. I mean, because he break. I mean, thing is, is he break off so fast. Like, the thing is, he's like, uh, you know, Aaron Aaron Donald is gonna be 
in Russell Wilson's face at the snap of the ball. Now we all but the thing is, we all know that that um that Russell Wilson got some wheels. But that D that D line, I mean that O line is only gonna be able to protect him so much. It wouldn't surprise me if Donald's probably gonna get like like three sacks off of him. But me, I am gonna I'm gonna give the Rams like I said, I wanna say twelve and four is so bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and say eleven and five. They still gonna win the division though. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Last but not least, the Cardinals. The Arizona Cardinals. What do you got that record as? Uh, I got them at like 4 and 12. Um, <laughs> I got the exact same record. <laughs> I mean, Larry Fitzgerald deserves better. Uh, I feel like they, they let him down in his final years. Um, their defense is still good. I mean, they got Patrick Peterson and uh, Honey Badger. Uh, but I mean that's it, man. They got David Johnson. I mean, they have the weapons to be good, but they just don't have the quarterback or the O line. They're missing a quarterback in the line. That's that's all they're missing. Because I don't trust uh, Sam Bradford too much, but I think he can carry them to like four wins. Oh yeah. Like I said, I got the Cardinals at four and twelve too. Um, they they they're not really working with that much and. Their defense, besides like the couple of those guys in the secondary, def- like the, the linebackers and the D line, they don't impress me at all. And like I said, they don't really got that much to work with. If you ask me, Baker Mayfield should have went to the Cardinals instead. He probably would have been a he better. Should, fit. Yeah. yeah, he probably would have been a better fit there too. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't, I don't really have that much faith in them. I got them at four and twelve. Um, all right, now before we wrap up. I've got the Packers in the NFC conference. I got the Packers taking the North. I've got a two way tie between the the Falcons and the Panthers. I'm gonna go ahead and give the Panthers the South. I got the Packers of the North, Panthers South, um, Eagles East, and I got the Rams taking the West. And for my wild cards, I've got the Seahawks and the Falcons. Maybe the, I got a three way tie between the Seahawks. Falcons and Vikings, but yeah, what about you? Uh, I got the Packers North. Um, I'm gonna give the the Panthers the South, mm-hmm. uh, Eagles East, and obviously uh, Rams. the Rams the West. Now your wild card um, picks are tricky. They, like the wild card is really tricky for the West uh, for for the uh, NFC. I Who think I think the wild cards might be uh, New Orleans. Yeah, it might be Minnesota and New Orleans. Yeah, Minnesota, New Orleans might be it. Yeah, okay. it could be San Fran. It could be Atlanta too, though. Like you say, yeah. I mean, it could be. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Anyway, before we sign out, you got anything else that you want to add? Like, um, what do you hope to see from your boys this year that you didn't see last year? I want to see them make up goals and fail. Mm. That, that's all I. That's all I need them to do. I, I'm 100 percent confident if they stay healthy, they can put up that like 12 win uh, season that I want them to have. Now, as far as my boys, the Pittsburgh Steelers, some some people have their like the worst Steelers record I've seen this year was like 11 and five at worst. The best record I've seen somebody put them at is 14 and two. But me, I'm putting the middle ground. I'm putting them at like I said, I put them at I, I wanted to put them at 13 and three. But like I said, we always crap out in one in one or two games. But the thing is, as far as our the thing is, our defense is dangerous. We need we beefed up our secondary a little bit more in the offseason, which was very, very smart. Have you do have you seen Terrell Edmonds? Oh no, I haven't seen him. He balling out? Um, yeah, I mean we he's he's actually a local guy too. He's actually from where I'm from. He's um from Virginia Tech. Um He looked pretty damn good. He, I think he got like two interceptions in the preseason. Okay, nice. Yeah, um... Because I know you were a fan of um, the, the linebacker from last year, right? Oh, yeah. That was my defensive player. You're mm-hmm. a rookie. Yeah, J- T.J. White, yeah. Yeah. And, like I said, the Steelers, if it's one thing they know how to do, is get wide receivers. The Steelers wide receiver core is probably top five in the league. Maybe maybe even, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and say top three in the league as far as their receiving core. Because Antonio Brown is the number one wide receiver in the league until somebody proves me otherwise. Yeah, I know. And and I feel like this is this year where he tries to show off for that big contract from another team. So I think he's he's gonna have a huge season for you guys before oh, yeah, you leave. Definitely. 
they better pay that man. <laughs> I mean, the thing <laughs> is, yeah, they, I mean, really. But the thing is, I think, I think it was Big Ben who it was the one that took a cut just so Bell can get paid more. Ben is on his way out. He knows it. Yeah. I mean, but we'll see. But anyway, uh, final thoughts. Good luck to your team. I hope they actually go 14-2. and two. <laughs> And uh, I hope my team goes 14-2. and two too. <laughs> yeah. That's it, man. We'll see. But, I mean, for everybody watching the podcast, you know, feel free to drop your predictions in the comments on Facebook and also on my uh, YouTube page, too. And um, good luck to all the teams. We'll see you guys during the regular season. I cannot wait. The 2018 regular season will be underway Thursday night. Thank you, Flip, for hosting with me, and thank you guys for watching. And we'll be back with our our um, week one recap next week. Peace out, guys, and thanks, Flip. Peace.